The Reliance Protran is the transfer switch most commonly installed by professional electricians. But you can do it yourself, and I'm going to walk you through a typical installation. Before we can begin the Reliance Protran installation, we'll need to decide what circuits we want to operate during a power outage. But first, let's look at the transfer switch itself. These are the switches that transfer power from the utility to the generator, and these are the circuit breakers that correspond to each switch. When the generator is in use, these meters will show how much power is being used on each side of the transfer switch. After choosing the circuits we want to power during an outage, we'll need to locate the corresponding circuit breakers and mark them in the main panel. We'll do this before we take the cover off the main panel, because it will be much more difficult to identify them after the cover is off. I've now finished labeling the circuit breakers. The next step will be to remove the cover from the main panel. But first, we want to be sure to turn off the main circuit breaker. This will cut off power to the entire house, and you may need a flashlight from here on. Now we can wire in the individual transfer switch circuits. Each switch on the transfer switch has a corresponding red and black wire in the conduit. To wire these into the circuit, we'll first need to turn off the circuit breaker labeled C. Now remove the existing wire from that breaker. Set it aside, we'll need it later. These are the wires we'll need to connect the C switch to the furnace circuit. We'll take the red wire labeled C from the transfer switch and cut it to an appropriate length to be inserted into the furnace circuit breaker. Strip this wire and connect it to the furnace breaker. Finally, we'll take the black wire labeled C, cut it to an appropriate length, strip it, and use a wire connector to tie it to the wire that we removed from the furnace circuit breaker. The C switch is now wired to the furnace through the transfer switch. We can now repeat this procedure for the other 120 volt circuits. And now we're done with the wiring. This is what your completed transfer switch wiring will look like. Now we can put the cover back on the panel and turn the circuit breakers back on. It's always a good idea to double check your wiring before you attach the cover. With the cover back on, we can turn the main breaker back on as well as the individual breakers that we turned off earlier. Move all the switches on the transfer switch to the line position. This will be the normal position when the utility is supplying power. The last thing we need to do is fill out the circuit diagram so we know which circuits are on the transfer switch. Congratulations, you've installed the Reliance Protran 2.